This video is not for scammers. Welcome to my channel's Striker 24x7. Subscribe to my channel for notifications and updates. In this video, I am going show you how to encrypt the voice recordings in VC Dial. Why we need to encrypt the recordings. The recordings files might have sensitivity information about the callers like bank details, phone number etc. Next to me the security compliance to protect the data which has sensitivity information. Prerequisites to enable the recordings encryption. You need SSH access to the server. GPG software should be installed in your server. If you are using VC Box, then you can install GPG by typing. Zyper install GPG2. For CentOS based server type, Yum install GNUPG. For Ubuntu OS based server type, apt-get install GNUPG. Finally you need GPG application in Windows, to decrypt the encrypted recordings. For Windows I use Cleopatra software downloaded from www.gpg4win.org Steps to follow Step 1. Installing GPG in VC Box and installing GPG in Windows Log into your server console and install GPG by typing Zyper install GPG2 As you can see GPG is already installed in VC Box servers. Now install the Windows version of GPG, downloaded from www.gpg4win.org. And follow the on-screen prompt, to finish the installation. Step 2. Generate new key pair in Cleopatra software. Next upload the key to VC dial server. Next import the key using below command. In your Windows GPP client, click the icon new key pair. Enter a name and an email it is key pair name and press next. Now click create. And enter a strong password for the key. You need this password while importing in dialer. Now a new encryption key is generated. Now make a backup of your key in your local machine, which we need to upload in VC Box. Enter the password, which you used while creating the key. Now using the WinSCP software, Upload the new key pair to the VC dial. To a specific folder, like I uploading in slash user slash src slash VC dial key. Now go back to your Linux console. And export the key by typing. GPG hyphen hyphen import file name with path. Now enter the same password which we used while creating the key. Now the new key is successfully imported in VC Dial. Proceed to next step. Step 3. Enable the VC Dial Audio Encrypt script, as cron job entry to run every 3 minutes in background. Copy paste the below command and change the recipient's entry to the mail id you used while creating the key. Go back to your Linux console. And type crontab hyphen e, to enter into crontab. Now copy-paste the command which I mentioned in this video description, in any part of this cron tab.
Don't forget to change the recipient's value to match your key. If you are using MP3 audio then enter MP3, if you are using GSM then enter GSM here. Now save this entry, by pressing Ctrl X and press keyboard letter Y to confirm the changes. Now proceed to next step. Step 4. Make calls with recording enabled, and download the encrypted files. Decrypt using the Cleopatra software. Finally listen to the recording using any audio players. Now log in as an agent, into a particular campaign in which recording is enabled. Once logged in, make some live calls to test the recording encryption. Hello David, this is Bob from Tech Support, how are you today? I am fine Bob, thanks for calling. Now hang up the call, let's check the recordings are in encrypted format. Now go back to the VC Dial admin page, click Users menu. Under that select User Stats. Now enter the agent id, to check the call logs. Now scroll down until you see Recording Table. Now click the link under Location field of Recording Table to download the encrypted file. Open the downloaded file using the GPG software. Enter a folder path to save the decrypted file and press Save All. Now navigate to that folder, and you will notice the decrypted recording file in MP3 format. Double click to play audio and audio player. Hello David this is Bob from Tech Support. How are you today? I am fine Bob, thanks for calling. You can also download the encrypted recordings. By browsing IP address slash recordings slash. And clicking GPG folder. A quick advice here. The original folder still contains the unencrypted recordings files. Better run any script in background to delete those files. And also secure this particular path from outside access. Thanks for watching. Catch you yet another video.